Hello guys and welcome to this video. In this video I want to show you how to use the replay scene correctly. The replay scene is a cool feature which makes your stream more interesting for your viewers. The replay scene allows you to show instant replays of your gameplay live in your stream. It works for Streamlabs and for our Studios. You can check out my Twitch channel if you have any more questions about the replays or streaming in general. I will link all my social medias in the video description. So first of all, you need to have two scenes, the game scene and the replay scene. You also need to go into settings, under output, you're gonna find replay buffer and you need to make sure that replay buffer is enabled. I use 15 seconds for my replay buffer. Then you need to go into hotkeys and make sure that you have set a hotkey to save your replay. I use F6. It's also recommended to use Alt Control O uh, or any hotkey you want to switch to the game scene and to the replay scene. I use Alt Control O to switch to my game scene and Alt Control E to switch to my replay scene. When you're ready, you click done. In the game scene, you just actually need uh, a game capture, which is capturing a specified window. In my case, it's CSGO. And on the replay scene, you need to have this instant replay, which I use with the filter, with the gray filter, which looks a little bit better. You can add this replay by going to hit the plus and scroll down on the widget, you will find instant replay. Click instant replay, add source. I also use these settings, these property settings for the replay scene. In my replay scene, I use also this little short video, which is showing my viewers that the replay is going on. This video is four until five seconds long and it's getting looped all the time. Make sure that it's closed and it's not active. I will link this video in my video description. You also need to make sure that your replay buffer is enabled. You just click on it. You have this icon if you enable the replay buffer. And you can use it for recording or streaming. So whenever I am in game and for example I get a nice shot which I want to show my stream, I press F6 to save the last 15 seconds. After that I go into my replay scene which I set it up for Alt Control E. So whenever I am in game and for example I get a nice shot which I want to show my stream. I press F6 to save the last 15 seconds. When the replay is played, I go back into my game scene and continue the game. The replay buffers will get automatically saved in the folder which are used for your recording. So thanks for watching, I hope this video was helpful for you, don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope I can see you on the next video, goodbye.